Hello everyone. Today we'll quickly learn about the properties and styling of the password input widget. You can also access the link to the documentation for this widget in the description below. Let's start with dropping the password input from the widget inventory. A password input widget provides a way for the users to enter a password securely. It is a one-line plain text editor in which the text is obscured so that it cannot be read by replacing each character with an asterisk symbol. Now quickly dive into its properties by inspecting the widget. Placeholder. It specifies a hint text that describes the expected value. Let's add the following. Now, this will be added as the placeholder. Validations. Regex. We can simply add a regular expression in this field that will validate the input data. Let's add the following value. You can pause the video to copy it exactly. This expression restricts the user to only entering alphabets and no numbers or special characters. Now if I try to enter any number input it displays this error since it only accepts alphabets. You can explore various regular expressions as per your use case. Min length. We can use this property to check the inputs with a minute length validation. We'll enter 8. Since the length of the value in the input field is less than 8, an error message will appear below the widget. Max length. Similarly, we can use this property to validate the inputs with a max length check. We'll not use this, but it's good practice to explore all the properties to better understand the widget. Custom validations. Using the ternary operator, we can add our custom validation logic for the input text using this property. Let's pick up an example to understand this better. You can pause the video and copy the following code. If the condition is true, the error message will be displayed. Otherwise, no message will appear. You can also check the value entered in the widget from the inspector panel on the left. It'll be available in the inspector, components, component name, and then the value associated with the field. Tool tip. Under the general accordion, you can set the value of a tooltip. Let's try it out by entering the following value. Now when we hover on the widget, we find the tooltip with the assigned value. Layout. Toggle on or off to display the widget in desktop and mobile view. You can programmatically determine the value by clicking on FX to set a Boolean value. Now let's explore the styling of the password input widget. Click on the Styles tab to access the following options. Visibility. Toggle on or off to control the visibility of the widget. Disable. Toggle to lock the widget. If toggled on, we won't be able to select any value. You can programmatically change both options by clicking on the FX button. Border Radius. Change the border radius for the widget. I am providing it with a value of 12. Box Shadow. This property is recently introduced under every widget style tabs. We can apply a box shadow to style our password input widget. Let's give it some value. This is what our final password input widget looks like. I hope you found this video informative. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe to our channel for the latest updates.